is is Ethan like fully anti, like fully done with Hassan now? Because it seems like he's been yeah. really tiptoeing. Yeah, I think I, I think so. <laughs> he's not okay. tiptoeing. No, I'm about to make up tomorrow, I'm sure. Because wasn't it two days ago he said that like oh he wasn't really like like he wasn't enabling anti-Semitism in his community against him or anything like that. Uh, like, I think he's it, trying it, it, to. I think what walk Ethan, that line with his own audience. But you go ahead, Destiny. What's your theory? Well, I was going to say, this is my guess, because um, I, I don't know, but my guess is going to be that, well, if I was in Ethan's position, uh, it's like you try to be good faith to somebody, and you're trying hard, and you're like, okay, guys, like, I know that Hassan doesn't, you know, green light anti-Semitism, I know he doesn't do this, but then when you try to be relentlessly good faith to somebody, didn't Hassan go over Ethan's video, and, and he, or, or no, I'm sorry, he didn't go over Ethan's video, and he just starts like, giving the worst faith summary of it ever, mm -hmm. and it's like, okay, well, f this guy, he does green light anti-Semitism, this dude, of course he does this, right? Like at some point, you're going to run out of charitable desire to be, yeah, nice to him. Yeah, I wondered, has he reached that point yet? Where has he gone? Like, yeah, this guy is actually totally enabling anti-Semitism. He's he way gone? past that point. Obviously, is I would he? say past yeah. that point. But the whole crew is not past that point. There are a lot of people in H three H three that still. I might Wait, when did lean towards Hassan? But yeah, are... I think there are. Like the, I would say like his second, it, his Wait, version of Dan is there. And Dan still believes that like Hassan just can't engage with the criticism, but hopefully with time, he will understand like what he's been doing. I, I think that, uh, that that's, Dan that's, is just naive. That's like yeah, some copium. Soy Dan. Yeah. Uh, I, I think genuinely if Hassan even could come to terms or did come to in terms with the fact of what he's doing is wrong, I don't think he would ever admit it publicly. I, I don't think anything could possess him to admit it publicly he would always double quadruple down until his career explodes into nothingness and maybe he would admit it to one of the women he sleeps with but i th i think that um I, when did ethan actually admit that he was enabling anti-semitism when did that actually happen like uh, because again i believe it was two or three days ago he said no he isn't enabling anti-semitism no it was today some people are saying Last week and um, today? What? I thought three days ago he said that he wasn't enabling it, no? Uh, or was that I, just I think, against well, him? I think last week, last week he said, I don't think Hassan's personally anti-Semitic. I think he said, I do believe he's been saying enabling. I think he's just saying he's oh. not personally anti-Semitic. But like this, I believe are, even a week ago, he was saying like, no, mm -hmm. like his community is allowed to take shots at me. He does allow his mods, his like head people to take shots at me. And I do believe they're anti-Semitic. So I think, I think he was oh, saying enabling. I feel, like I feel like that's different. I think Ethan will say that he doesn't believe that Hassan is directing people to be anti-Semitic to him. But that he does like enable or his community is anti-semitic or like stuff like that but he makes it very clear that he doesn't think that hassan is like telling people to direct hate towards him um wait what was this i heard about like was it hassan somebody said i think i saw ethan say something where like somebody was telling ethan to talk to another jewish person to be able to actually be oh. informed on <laughs> that. Ethan that. yeah yeah oh. <laughs> Uh, Ethan was not a fan of that. I mean, the analogy I gave here is imagine like Nick Fuentes telling a young black guy to be like, hey, I know you think I'm racist, but I suggest you go talk to Candace Owens, okay? My friend Candace <laughs> Owens. She'll tell you I'm not racist at all, all right? It's like, well, okay. I, <laughs> how is that supposed to prove anything? One person? That's fucking crazy. But Ethan was offended by it. Is Sam Cedar of the same mind as uh, Hassan? I know some of the people he works with. Broadly. Though. Yeah, I, I think he's broadly. I doubt it. I feel like Which one is maybe Sam this Cedar? is massive copium. Sam Cedar's the, he's the majority report, the main guy, Jewish guy on the majority report. Oh, with Emma. Okay, okay. Yeah. Yes. Yep. Go ahead, Destiny. I was gonna say maybe it's massive copium, but like I'm sure there are people around Sam that are crazy, but I don't think Sam would ever say like the Houthis and Hezbollah and all these guys are like freedom fighter, resistance fighters. I feel like at that the worst I would hope the worst Sam would say would be something like, yeah, like it's not good what they're doing, obviously, but Israel, you know, drives these people to you know be terrorists. That'd be my hope. 
Mm. That was like the opposite. That was always I because Sam is surrounded by so many crazy people that he comes off reasonable. But then you have a conversation with him and you're like, nope, this is why he's surrounded by those people. <laughs> he's just a bit more mature. I mean, I don't like I don't like my combos with him, but he's no Emma, you know. Yeah, uh, I was going to say, I thought I remember Emma being the wacky. She is the. Yeah. There. Being told by one of the lefties in my mm -hmm. chat that no, um, he is. He, sorry. No to me that he um, he's super disinterested when Emma virtue signals. That he like mostly chills and hangs back a little bit. I was saying broadly, as in like broadly, he's pro Palestine. Broadly, he is on that side of the argument. Can somebody steal man the Can argument for why, the, for why like Hassan types deny the rape? Like I don't think uh, there is a massive need. I, I don't think there's really much of a need at all for them to deny the rape and still be able to say like, hey, you know, Palestine is the victim of this conflict. Like I don't think it hurts their that much does it i don't feel like it does it's all part of the narrative you can't give any ground to jews it's like it's, literally it is all it's all part of well the... they have this like this mind virus <laughs> i will let's call it the broke mind virus okay where they think that this oppressor oppressed thing is like really real and they also think if they admit that like hamas one person they think israel gets free reign to it's like over. murder everybody yeah and it's like no that's literally not how it works at all Genocide's not okay ever. Actually, it's literally not okay. <laughs> I don't. I don't understand. They think like, yeah. When it, realistically, if they just admit, they think, yeah, any atrocity is only invented to allow Israel to genocide more Palestinians. So they have to deny everyone. I just. I don't. I don't understand it. Okay, I don't because get it. That's how they think on their side. If Israel's bad, it greenlights an infinite amount of Palestinian terrorism and violence, and it's all justified. So. Oh yeah, I guess it is how they view that, huh? Earlier on Hassan's stream, when he said that uh, Israel has nothing to do with Jews, it's just like an ethno state. What what is the ethno part of that? What do you think that means to him? When when he said that, what do, what does he mean by an ethno state? I guess a like a either legislatively or like he said that the, he says that Israel has absolutely nothing to do with Jewish people in his mind. It's just a, it's just an ethno state, and I'm just curious what oh. he thinks ethno means and what the ethno refers sure. to. Yeah, I, I actually don't understand this argument, and it seems to happen from both sides of this argument, where people will say, like, oh, it's racist to conflate Zionism and Judaism, or the state of Israel and, like, Jews necessarily, and it's like, I I disagree, like, you can conflate these things, like, especially if you're talking about Zionism with respect to Israel, like, you are conflating that, you can't, uh, you can't really disentangle the two, so I don't know, I feel like people get weird about it. Like, they, they try to catch each other, like, conflating Zionism and Judaism, and it's just, a, it's a strange dance that happens on both sides. But yeah, exactly. Like, if it's, a, if it's an ethnostate, what's that ethnicity? And then how are you disentangling your hate for Israel with how your feelings about Jewish people? It's, a, it's very interesting. <laughs> yeah, apparently it's a $32,000 Birkin, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Birkin handbag. Oh, it might not be the same one, but they're saying this was the one. I don't know if this is the one or not. It looks quite different. Wait. It, no, Steal it's her the pit? same one. It's just no, not it's folded the, in on the sides. That's it's folded different. outwards. Yeah. That is, no, it's not, it's not different. It's just the, not this, folded this in one, like the photo. Yeah, this one looks the same, though, from this angle. This looks very similar to the Birkin one. They're, like, slightly different. But also, have you seen the, the Frogan memes around this? <laughs> it's, like, the same. It's, I, like, the same. I imagine. It's yeah. crazy. <laughs> <laughs> saw it quite quickly oh man what else came out today uh oh can you play wait never mind wait destiny have you commented on the the manager of twitch trust and safety being somebody who's fired from their previous job for anti-semitism wait what oh, have you no, not seen that either though I didn't know that. Well, hold on. Anti-Semitism or just anti-Zionism? Let's be fair now. Um, well, I think she would call it anti-Zionism, yeah. Uh, suspends her over anti-Israel views. I actually don't know the, the, the bottom line on this, so I haven't had a chance to look into it yet. I saw this Order Order article that I was going to read earlier. Yeah, I don't know precisely what her views Wait, earlier were. on... Wait, I have a question for you guys. And I, I haven't read this article yet, but... I'm being told that what this person said that what they were suspended and or let go for was saying that 
Israel was engaging in a genocide and that the state was set up as apartheid. If that was the limit of her comments and it didn't come with more stuff, do you feel like that makes her anti-Semitic? I feel like... Cherry Destiny? Find the comment. I, I, it, it, who said it? Find out who you said gotta, it. You gotta see and it. And then I'll tell you if I believe them, and then we go find the actual comments. I think if it's as simple as what you described, I do not believe that is anti-Semitic. Uh, but if there's added context, maybe they have other statements that would make that be like really sus or something like that, then but it's just as simple as what you said. I would say they should not be fired, and that is not anti-Semitic. Ofcom's director of online safety supervision has been posting anti-Israel content on her private Instagram this week. Fazai Mazringra, Mazingra, uh, I'm not going to actually read that correctly, who was hired at Ofcom in May, describes herself as a Zimbabwean black feminist, a student of decolonization, and was previously director of ethical and humane use of technology no at Salesforce. I, no, I I, yeah, I, student of decolonization. Student of I feel like that's... decolonization should get you fired. <laughs> that's already... That's already that uh, you just like lied on your resume. That's not a thing. I appreciate that, Destiny. All right. Bye. Remember to hit that like and subscribe and don't forget the notification bell so that my videos show up right in your feed.